Thanks for joining us again today. We're going to talk about robotic partial nephrectomy. This is where there is a tumor inside a kidney or growing outside a kidney. And this can be accessed and removed, leaving good kidney behind. Uh, fascinating operation. We've got some great videos, so please stay tuned. So first up, what is robotic surgery? Well, it's just a platform that allows us to perform minimally invasive surgery, but in a situation where we can have finer control over what we do rather than standard laparoscopic surgery. This video here shows um, a surgeon at a console. Uh, you'll see there are two hand pieces that are controlled by the surgeon and these are relayed electronically to the bedside. The surgeon's looking inside the console and can see in three dimensions. Um, this is connected obviously electronically to what we call the uh, patient side cart. Uh, here there are four arms which are attached to ports and inside there are instruments uh, which copy exactly what the surgeon's hands are doing. So this allows us to perform minimally invasive surgery but with great manual dexterity and there are some significant advantages for the surgeon and for the patients. So we'll use this system where we need to remove a tumour from uh, a kidney, leaving good kidney behind. Uh, and uh, this example here shows you uh, the tumour in the kidney. Uh, you can see the blood vessels in blue, which are the veins taking blood away from the kidney, and in red, bringing blood into the kidney. Uh, and everything's very intimately applied, as you can see. So it's helpful to know the anatomy uh, beforehand, uh, before starting the operation. You can render this in three dimensions or in pseudo 3D so that you can see the tumour. You can see the collecting system there where the urine collects in yellow, and you can see the blood vessels, uh, the veins in blue, and the arteries in red. So this helps preoperative planning. So the first steps that we have are to prepare the kidney and to find the lump. You'll see here intraoperative ultrasound is being used to define the limits of the tumour. So we go around and we mark this out on the kidney itself uh, using ultrasound and we can compare this to the uh, 3D rendition that we've got uh, on the screen. The next step is to temporarily uh, stop the blood flow into the kidney. So this kidney has got multiple renal arteries and you can see here that they're all clamped. Uh, and this is a temporary measure just while we cut the tumour out. So the first stage is to cut circumferentially around the tumour so that it starts to become separated from the uh, remaining kidney. Uh, we deepen this incision. Uh, the assistant here is helping uh, just suck any remaining blood just as we're cutting the tumour out. So you can see this is being uh, done more deeply. We're coming through collecting system here in white. And finally, the tumour is released from the renal bed. The next stage is uh, the most important stage and this is controlling the blood vessels and stitching up the collecting system at the base of the tumour, so what's left behind of good kidney. So this is using something called a V-lock suture and you'll see we pull this through uh, and uh, sequentially stitch so that the blood vessels are uh, sealed and the collecting system is sealed. Uh, we'll often use two sutures, uh, we bring these sutures out and use something called a hemolock clip which slides down and tensions and this keeps tension on those vessels. Uh, so this is a second suture being used in a similar manner here. So the next stage is to close the defect and you can see here uh, this is the hole that remains in the kidney. We use something called a renorophy stitch. Uh, and we use this from outside the kidney to the inside of the defect. Uh, again, we have these clips uh, which uh, apply pressure uh, for us. And you'll see now stitching from inside to outside, there's strength in the outside of the kidney on the capsule. So this suture is pulled through and a clip is applied and is slid into place. This is called a sliding renorophy technique. So a number of renorophy sutures are applied and the next step in some patients is to apply what's called a hemostatic agent which stops small amounts of bleeding. This is a fluid uh, which acts uh, to stop that bleeding and you can see being applied here to the base of the tumour. And then we will additionally put on some solid hemostatic agent uh, just uh, to hold that in place. The next step is to close the layers over the kidney uh, and uh, this is done again with uh, clips. Uh, so that uh, the, uh, the layers are reopposed. So those are the stages of a partial nephrectomy. It's quite a complex procedure. It requires a lot of training. I was very lucky to spend three months full time with the Royal Free Hospital and their team uh, with a sabbatical learning how to do this uh, procedure in more advanced uh, cases. 
Uh, we perform this procedure at East West Urology for selected cases. So Dan Spurnat or myself or Mark Lloyd would be more than happy to talk to you um, about this procedure. Many thanks indeed for watching. Please don't hesitate to get in touch and our details will follow uh, after this video.